today I will be doing just a short little tutorial about um, a day night cycle. You can basically use this for any kind of game like an RPG game or maybe a survival game, something like Minecraft, doesn't matter. But um, this is really easy. We'll just use our directional light over here and then basically just make it rotate it around its X axis and then maybe adjust the intensity a bit with the rotation and so on. Anyway, let's get started. So firstly, what you would want to set up is you would want to create a new material. Call this Sky01 or whatever. Then go to Skybox, Procedural. And then maybe increase the atmosphere thickness. That'll help with your sunsets and sunrises. You would also want to maybe increase the sun size. Well, that doesn't really matter. You first have to go here. And then just choose your skybox. And then make your direction light your sun. Okay. Maybe that's a bit thick. Yeah, something more like that. Okay, so there's our basic scene set up. Go to the directional light if you want to. This is just for decoration. Maybe add a, okay, I didn't add the particle systems back, but anyway, you could add a sun flare if you have some flares in your project. Okay, now we have to create a new script, JavaScript. No, that was a she shell. Delete. We call this um, day. Why is it not doing anything? No. I want to call you day and night. Or just the inside. See, for day night cycle. Okay. Anyway, so let's open that up in MonoDevelop. Delete this, I have no idea what it does. And then we will create some variables. Now, these variables will basically define everything in our project, like the time of day, or the hour, or the day, or the night length, depending on um, what you need for your project. So first, we will create a new variable, call it day length. And this will be a float. For now, we'll just make it equal to two. Then another variable, we'll call this night length. Also a float, which will be equal to one. Just for now, we can adjust that later in the engine itself. Then our time, um, sorry, float. Well, time, you can just leave us a float, as far as I know, because um, we'll later define it, and then we'll just tell time to be equal to be day length or night length, depending on the time of day. Then, variable hour, and this will also be a float, which is equal to zero. And then lastly, we'll have first sun, and then say this is a light. Okay. And then function start nothing for now. Then we will tell our sun. So function update basically, as far as I understand this, but, um, performs the functions in it every single frame that the game has to update. So for every frame, we want the sun, which is the light that we'll define later on, dot transform dot rotate. And then make this time dot delta time divided by time. That is for the x axis, 0 and 0 for the y and z because we don't want this sun to rotate um, around the y and z axis. Then for every second, our hour needs to increase with 1, so therefore we will once again use time dot delta time divided by time. Just use some semicolons, otherwise it will give you a syntax error. 
Next up, we want to tell this. Okay, let me just show you what this does for now. Go back here and then just drag this script right onto your directional light. Okay, so if we go to our directional light now, we will see that we can define our day length, our night length, um, time we're not going to adjust and hour we're not going to adjust. And then light, we just have to choose our directional light. So what will happen now, let me just, no, whatever. What will happen now is the directional light will now not rotate. Okay, so I just had to figure out what's wrong quickly. Um, it's because hour is zero and now I want to divide delta time by zero and therefore it does nothing. So we just have to match up hour with day length. No, hour stays zero. Sorry. This has to be matched up with day length. Save that out. Okay. Okay, there we go. I just had to also change um, this value to the day length value. Now, when I press play now, this line here will basically tell our sun to rotate around its x-axis at one degree per second. But because we dis we're dividing this by time, which is equal to two, it will now only rotate one degree every two seconds. So now you'll see that our sun will slowly move across the sky and the shadow here will also move. I'll just change my day length to 0.5 quickly and I'll see that it moves much faster. No, it doesn't. Anyway, so it moves much faster now because it basically rotates a degree every 0.5 two seconds now. Okay, next up. What's happening now is basically we're rotating the sun around its x-axis. So, and you'll see that our hour increases just as our x-axis rotation increases. Therefore, we want to tell our hour that it can't go past 360. So we will use if hour is larger than or equal to 360 then we our you need to be zero again just close that okay we also need another if statement two two new if statements firstly if our is larger than or equal to 180 degrees. Now obviously 180 degrees the sun would already have rotated from the one horizon to the next. So basically if it's larger than 180 then we know it's night. So I'll just um, comment this out here. It is night. Okay, next up we know that time is equal to night length. Okay, close that for now. Just copy this statement, paste it over here, and then we just make this less than. We now know that it is day. And this first part would just change today. Okay, so what will happen now is we can now independently set the length of our days and our nights. So you'll see that if I send this to 0.5, then time will also change to 0.5. And now our sun will move really quickly, but I actually want it to move faster, just to give you an idea. So now the sun moves really fast. It moves basically 10 degrees per second. And then when it reaches a horizon, 
it will suddenly slow down one day. There we go. And now your time suddenly goes to one because it's now set to the night length. So why I did this is because sometimes you make a survival game and then in this game the night is definitely the most difficult part of your game. And maybe you don't want the player to suffer during the night. So then you can independently set your day length and your night length. But just remember that day length occupies one part of the of the complete rotation and then night length other part occupies the other parts of the rotation. Okay, so another thing that we need to do, you'll see I'll just set this really quickly. Okay. So now the sun will move really fast. But what happens at night is that our um, sun's intensity from the bottom is still really bright and then we get a sort of a glow on the trees and all your details which doesn't work for me. So another thing that we need to... Oh, and there's another really important thing. Your directional light needs to be at zero. Otherwise, the next step is not going to work. So we're going to need two more if statements. Actually, no, you can just add this here. So when it is night, the sun dot intensity, so in the intensity of our directional light is minus equals time dot delta time. So what this will basically do is when it is night, our, um, our sun's intensity will start decreasing gradually. And then I'll just copy this and when it is day, the intensity should increase. Okay, we also know that we do not want our intensity to go over one and not below 0 0.2. So if our no, sun dot intensity is larger or equal to one, then we have to force it sun dot intensity to stay at one and not go over one. Just add your semicolons. Okay. And let's just copy this. Okay, now we wanted to prevent going under 0 0.2. So just change these two values to 0 0.2 and save that out. Okay. What will happen now is our sun will go over. It'll be at one, one. And then when it starts becoming dark, the intensity will decrease to 0 0.2 and we have got our night. Okay, so one more thing you can do just to play around and make this a bit more realistic. Maybe go to color and then just choose a grayish blue down here somewhere. So when the sun goes into night mode, then we can get a sort of a moonshine feeling, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Just leave it like that. And during the day, everything looks perfect. And um, well, that's basically what I have for the, for the day night cycle. And I think what I'll do next is I'll just um, show you how to calculate from, uh, well, uh, by using these values over here, how long your day and your night will actually last in real playing time. Okay, so I'll just show you how to calculate the values for your day and night length according to how long you actually want your um, playing time to last each day and each night. So let's say that our day length is equal to 2. 
but we want our um, our day to last five minutes in real playing time. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to take five, then times it by sixty, and then divide this entire value by one hundred and eighty. And if we do that, we see that. Let me just work this out quickly. Okay, we see that this equals one point six 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 infinity. So then you'll have to set your day length inside your project to one point four sixes. Let's say you want your day to last fifteen minutes. Then you basically take sixty times fifteen divided by 180 and then you get 5. So you then know that your um, day length you have to set to 5 in order to make your actual day in the game last 15 minutes. And exactly the same applies to the night length. Well guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, keep subscribing, keep liking and I'll see you next time.